All right, so we're in the desert we're attempting the, to find Yeah, Somier. we're on the trail of Somier, and he's found monsters again. Monsters again? This place sure is lively. They look occupied. Maybe they'll let us by. Let's make sure a helpless traveler isn't what's occupying them. And sure enough, there he is. It'd be great if we could recruit him. Isn't that Somir? It is. We have to help the little one. Caravan trail. Defeat all foes, Somir must survive. Okay. Kyrie, oh. Rainer. That's fun. Bizarro Label. looks like he has horns as well. Yeah, he's he's got like the demon antenna. horns. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh yeah, there there's Anadine. Wondering about that. One healer. Eh, should be fine. Is there gonna be a healer monster class? Yes, there is. That might be something to look into if you want to keep Bizarro around. Uh, I mostly just bring him whenever there's monsters on the map. It's not so bad. Mm -hmm. his, uh, just so you can acquire their classes. Yeah, his base class actually has a healing ability. Wow, he, uh, he zips. Mm -hmm. Let's see, does he have any interesting abilities? Survival... I guess he's got regenerate. Now, I thought that Rainer had two mallets. Why does he only have one? He only shows one. They, oh. they don't really have the dual wielding as like a visible thing, unfortunately. Mm hmm. Shame. Yeah, it kind of is. Though, uh, dual wielding hammer seems. wildly <laughs> unfeasible. Yeah, it. Would require it, a beefier dude. Well, if you think about it, unless they're shorter, like mallet sized, how would you be able to, you would have to keep them constantly in a kind of spinning motion just so that you're not being, uh, also the length of the shaft. Oh. It would make them very unwieldy. Let's just put it that way. Yes. Because there's a reason why swords have most of their weight in the... Well, they're balanced. Right, right. It's... But that means that the blade itself is lighter than... If you know what I mean? You know yeah. how you, you balance it so that where the cross guard is, that's where you're supposed to be able to put a finger out, and the blade is only as light as the The rest handle. of it, yeah. Yeah. Little friend, I see you've gotten yourself into trouble again. Kind Arbiter and friends. I is glad to see friends, very glad. Don't worry, little one. We will protect you. I Ooh. almost feel like I could give them stitch voices, couldn't I? Wow. I is glad. Yeah, probably could. But it would sound weird, almost like... Change your boots. Oh no! I don't remember Jar uh, Jar Jar was sort of like excuse me. Yeah. Except he had more. He had a deep, resonant voice. You see what you're. What I'm doing is I'm puffing up my yeah. cheeks, and rounding. The sound isn't coming through the middle. It's coming through the sides. Yeah. Do you do this first? Because you have the sound going through the inside of your cheeks. Kind of weird. I don't remember Stitch being particularly high pitched, though. That is mm. the one thing. Stitch? Oh, he was. Or you're talking about Jar Jar? No, no, Lilo. Like Lilo and Stitch. I don't remember him being that high pitched. Well, my one friend would always do the blue punch, Peggy, like that, and I'd be like, "Whoa, okay." That does sound like him, though. Kinda. I guess I haven't seen Lilo and Stitch in quite some time. I haven't either. I'm Actually, not... aren't there rumors of a live-action Lilo and Stitch coming out? Uh, I would love a 3D. 
Lilo and Stitch. I think that would be great. Yeah, well, supposedly they're doing live action. Uh, I don't know. My passion for live action anything is just limited. Oh, I know. Because... I prefer practical effects for things, and maybe that's a little outdated. Maybe it's something that they threw out of favor in the early 90s. But... I prefer it when there's animatronics and makeup. Granted, for creatures that are supposed to be swift and sure, and yeah, I can see why animatronics would seem incredibly slow. And for creatures that aren't humanoid, it... But if you notice, like, they're coming out with that Dark Crystal television series and they're going to have all the puppets. And remember Farscape, how they had, you know, the pilot and many of the aliens still had really nice prosthetics or were animatronics? Rigel was a puppet, you know? Conversely, like, if all of Farscape had been really well 3D animated, I think I would have liked that even better. Mm. Like, I see, I, I, I know what you're saying, but, like, I really, really like full artistry. Even well, if it's... Well, so... I suppose it depends on how... how the characters mesh together because for a science fiction or fantasy series where you're creating realistic creatures sure you can put them in with humans and it would look fine but stitch is a very stylized cartoon character and even if they could make a realistic creature that resembled him with the koala alien whatnot characteristics there's going to inevitably be an uncanny valley going on. Yeah. Whereas alternatively, if every single person was 3D modeled and looked awesome... I know. Then it wouldn't right matter. In. Right. The other thing, too, is in line with the live action stuff, there's the Detective Pikachu movie, which we still haven't seen, but... That is... It, yeah. Some of, some of the Pokemon look better than others. In my, from what I've seen in the trailer. Like, Pikachu's cute. The Bulbasaurs are cute. Uh, granted, Mr. Mime, you can never make... <laughs> here, here. I, I saw that over there. Yeah, I'm not a you big twitching. fan of Mr. Mime or Lickitung or... Quite a lot Psyduck of... Psyduck was looked psychotic, but I suppose that's the point. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'd be kind of mental if I had major headaches every given day. But you do. Yeah, well... Your, your spirit Pokemon is Psyduck. It kind of is. I'm kidding, though. No, you're not a Psyduck. Dang. Dang. Huh? Uh, uh, he just... He did a lot of damage, suffice to say. So there's that, but then, there, of course, there was the backlash from Sonic. Oof. Yeah, which actually they said they're... They're, they're, they're going to completely reanimate him. Yeah, they, they put out a, uh, a promo thing being like, uh, no, no VFX artists were harmed in the making of this or something. Something silly. What? But... Effectively, they're like, yep, yeah, we're we're going back to the drawing board on, on what Sonic looks like. I almost wonder if this is an entirely a marketing ploy. What? Like, they made they, Sonic they look made horrifying another. on purpose to, like, really get the word out there. And then they are probably going to make... I nah, I think it's a legit mistake. They wanted to bridge the gap between what the cartoon looked like and what a quote-unquote real hedgehog would look like. And they ended up with the monster. That was neither cool nor cute, nor... Well, actually, I don't really think Sonic was ever meant to be cute, per se. Because I think at this point, anything is better than what they had. So the... I, I think the reaction on a lot of people is, well... You know, if it's halfway passable and he doesn't look like a horror monster, then it's an okay movie. And I, I'm I'm actually legitimately curious on whether or not... One thing that always held Sonic back 
when it came to realism was the fact that he had the goggle eyes. Yeah. There was no separation between the two eyeballs. It was... I'm he just sure has he, here, he, he just has his creature. He just has his brow that comes Rainer. down, but it doesn't come down completely to his nose, correct? Correct. Now is he one of the only ones with that? I think it's Sonic and Shadow are like that, but Tails has separated eyes. Oh, Amy has the together eyes. I think does Knuckles has the separated eyes. And Rouge has the separated eyes. We really should probably play some Sonic games at some point. Mm hmm As just like a dumb thing. Probably the 3D ones. The 2D ones don't have nearly as much story. Mm hmm But like, I think you would probably appreciate Sonic Adventure. You can play big. What? Human roads, very dangerous. Did you get lost again, Somier? I'm not lost. I is on way to Gogobomb City. Gogobomb. I still can't get Gogum that right. Gogobomb. That is a long way from here, little friend. Are you sure you don't need an escort? I is fine. We'll ride better next time. Hide. Or oh, hide. Sorry. <laughs> Big thanks to kind arbiters. Do, 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 do. Arbiters come meet I at shop in Gogum Bob City. I sure hope he'll be all right on his own. My hero? Really? What was that? Oh, an achievement? The achievement. There's still that weird letter that we found. Yeah, how do we access it? I don't know. Badge. Because you acquired it, didn't you? Did they yeah. read it or say anything about it? Nothing. Uh. Where was the place that you had been to? Where was to? the gorge? Oh. It's actually a kind of okay time for this. So we're gonna go back, see if it's still there somehow. No, they're not. bandits. Okay, are we up high? Balls. Okay, so we're gonna do something just real quick quick here. Hmm? Instead of actually doing this mission, I'm going to do the dishonorable thing Leave. of get that treasure and then bail. You can do that? Yeah. Uh, no. But I can. Okay, equipment. Are you sure we didn't need to take the letter somewhere to get in interpreted or Ooh. read? Look at those boots. What boots? <laughs> Jet boots plus 40 jump. <laughs> Riftwalker. Single step can carry the where. Oh, Riftwalkers make them fly. Who's the fastest one here? Equipment. Get rid of the Impala boots and let's grab the Riftwalkers. Okay, that's perfect. In that case, I don't need him. Grab Lana. Grab Blade Wolf. We don't really need Rin. We'll grab Yates. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I probably should have brought somebody with haste. Oh, well. Uh, let's see, trickery. Lead a foot. Yeah, so the zombie ain't here anymore. Mm -mm. Which no, is we, fine. We got what we needed from them. But the question is, how do we use it? I, I don't know. I might have to look that one up. And there's a small possibility we'll do some of these things. I will do some of these things alone, but mm -hmm. who knows? I mean, like I said, short episodes should help a lot. Let's see. Move here. Let's see, so... Mass Thorns. 
But yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna go fast for a bit. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Okay. <laughs> Zoop. No oh, wow. Yeah, so she can just teleport. Is that another marked ability? Uh yes. Ancient power. It makes sense if it was a marked ability, seeing as how the immortals are capable of telling. No, 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 no. It's sorry, it's not a marked ability. Really? It's uh It's her boots. Boots? Oh, she has Yeah, those rift boots. walkers. Rift walkers, that makes sense. Yeah, I got them from a treasure chest somewhere here. Oh, recently. he attacked them all in a row. Yep. It honestly well, didn't are work they out all counterattacking on with them? thorns, yeah. Because oh. Yates cast uh Mass thorns. Mm-hmm. Literally, they're all hitting Yates, which kind of sucks. Blood infusion, slowing bullet. I actually slowed that thing down? I don't think it was actually slowed. I don't know. It, it had an adaptive something. And it doesn't seem to have its turn order changed. Okay. Lay waste. Meteor swarm. Ooh. Meteor storm. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Tomato potato. Unfortunately, hitting that guy kind of sucks. Did he have adaptive... Wait. Evasion, yeah. The more you hit him, the... The more evasive he becomes? Yep. Oh. It shouldn't be an issue. He's pretty low health. So I think I'll be okay. Owie. That's within range. Rocks always hit, humorously enough, in this game. Really? Yep, 100% accuracy, they're always. They're akin to the swift ability. Yep. Gates is not dead yet, shockingly. Item. Heavy potion to Yates. There he goes. Gates. Anim anatomy. Heal Blade Wolf. Yeah, these enemies are actually pretty pretty hit hardy. I'm surprised by. Okay. They do look like barbarians of some sort. They're bandits. Mm-hmm. And just the appearance of their armor with the horned helmets. Probably sleep powder. Nope. Let's see, can I put him into sleep? Guess let's find out. Sleep, thank you. Ow. Wow, Rainer. Damn. Ooh. Oh, these guys are like one of the first sets that's ever actually been my level. They're 28. Mm -hmm. This sh shouldn't actually come as much of a surprise, unfortunately. When did she become a pistolier? Ah, uh, recently. Oh, come on. Wait! They brought him back? Do you have a storm that they're weak to? Uh... Not necessarily. I don't know what they're weak to, honestly. Dang it, that person is rebirth again. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is going swammingly. Oh, knocked him off the ledge. Yep. I might actually have to have to bail? Uh, or have to recoup and... Well, I say have to bail. I think I was even outnumbered on this match. Mm-hmm. 
I think they did have more units than you. There was what? The mage, the two with the berets, three people with the helmets? That's about even, isn't it? Maybe one off? Maybe. But she's got rebirth. But what, what does rebirth mean? That she gets reborn after? Yeah. Okay, well, it's fine. Like I said, I'm not too interested in sticking around anyway, so we're gonna open that up. We get a bone crest. Oh, you're getting a controller? Uh, sort of. I'm cheating. I don't honestly want to be here for this, not to mention when we're about to lose. Yep. So, bailing. What? <laughs> you were not victorious. I was not. I don't deserve any of that. But we got the bone crest, and I, we have other things to do. We only gain AP from that, so, like, it's not that big of a deal. Mm hmm But, uh... Less than honorable, but... And poor Rainer's injured. Let's see, learn abilities. Assassin, dual wield. Yes. Oh. So, we have one more temple to go to, correct? Uh, yes. Wow. You mastered that fast. Uh, let's see. What are the last couple abilities or characters, I should say? I mean, there's there's tons. Uh, that is Plague Doctor three, Fellblade four. If I actually roll him, Fellblade, nope. That should be fine. Equipment. So he's got a pair of rapiers. Let's fix that. Maybe. No. No, it actually looks like the rapiers are probably the best. Weapon I've got. All right. Uh, let's see. Class change. Or not class change. Abilities. Learn abilities. Gunner. Concentration. Oh. What's the... I remember this jingle. It's like concentration. 64. No repeats or hesitation. I'll go first. I have what was no it? idea. I, I truly don't know. Categories, people's names. I don't know. I don't know what that's from. It doesn't ring a single bell for me. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Must be from some like school thing. Yeah, it's one of those things where people would, they'd like do these claps, with it, and I think you had to say a word, or. I don't know, but it was a, I think it was a game so in which class, you can't like stumble. Peddler 3, Reaver 3. Interesting. Leech Life and Bloodmark. I should work on those. I don't have a whole lot of the, uh, oh, one's War Mage. That's probably, that's probably this one, maybe? Elemental Mastery and Leech Mana? Yeah. Scythe Mace Rod, Rope, uh, Rope and Light, light Armor. Yeah, I, I haven't had a whole lot of characters that that play the middle ground. I've either had, like, fighters or... Uh, I've either had fighters or, or casters and rarely in-betweens. Hmm. Okay, well, either way, we'll see you guys in the next episode of Felseal, Arbiter's Smidge. <laughs> and we'll probably get over to Finn Fjord and Port Grendel. I don't know, maybe Port we can make Grendel, it... Port Grendel, as in... Grendel from Beowulf and such? Possibly. Anyway, see you guys then, and as always, thanks for watching.